Okay, so we're going to start talking about the second part of lesson 8-2, which is again on special right triangles. The triangles that we're going to talk about on this part of the lesson are going to be special right triangles that are 30-60-90s. So 30-60-90s can be generated from equilateral triangles. So because an equilateral triangle has all sides the same length, that means that it will have 60 degree angles in the corners also. So you can generate a 30-60-90 triangle by starting with an equilateral triangle and cutting it in half with an altitude. Again, altitude will divide the triangle um, into two congruent 30-60-90 triangles. So let's say that this, the length of a side of the original triangle is two. Well, how long will those sides be? They'll each be half of the two, which means that they'll be one. And then let's figure out what that leg length is based on the fact the hypotenuse is two and the shorter of the two legs is one because it's across from the 30 degree angle. So it has to be shorter than one if it's across from the 60 degree angle. So we're gonna do the Pythagorean theorem here to figure out one squared plus, um, what we're looking for there, I'm just gonna call x squared is equal to two squared. So one plus x squared is equal to four. x squared equals three square root both sides it has to be a positive length because it's a it's a triangle so that makes this side length square root of three and that's true in any 30 60 90 triangle in a 30 60 90 you have a long leg which is the square root of three side you have a short leg which is the one side and you have the hypotenuse which is the two side okay so that's true in every 30 60 90 triangle in a 30 60 90 triangle when you compare the ratio of the short leg to the long leg to the hypotenuse, it's always gonna be x, x root three, and two x. Okay, whatever the short leg is, the long leg and the hypotenuse are based on the short leg. This is fundamental to being able to do these problems. You always wanna find the short leg first because everything else is based on that. So if the short leg is x, the hypotenuse is double that, and the long leg is square root of three times the length of the short side. Okay, so the long leg is a short leg times square root of three, and the hypotenuse is a short leg times two. So if you wanna think of it in kind of simplest form, this would be one, the hypotenuse is two, and the long leg is root three. Now, just as a side note here, what, uh, remember the hypotenuse has to be the longest side, and so if you know that one of the sides is root three and one of the sides is two, but you can't remember which is which, just remember that square root of three is smaller than two. It's about 1.7. So that means when you multiply a number by root three, it'll be smaller than a number multiplied by two. Okay, so here are some examples. So I'm gonna do, for each of these, I'm gonna do short leg, long leg, and hypotenuse. Short leg, long leg, and hypotenuse. Now again, long leg is not the longest side, it's the longest leg. So the longest side of the triangle is always the hypotenuse. All right, so which side do we know? Well, let's see. We know the short leg is two root three. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I said before. I'm gonna put a one, I'm gonna put a two on the hypotenuse, I'm gonna put a root three on the long leg. That just helps me pay attention to the fact that when I go, let me come back up here and do this. When I go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, I'll multiply by two. If I go backwards from the hypotenuse to the short leg, I'll divide by two. If I'm trying to get a bigger number, I'd multiply. If I'm trying to get a smaller number, I'll divide. Okay, between the short leg and the long leg, I'm either going to multiply by root three if I'm trying to get the bigger number, or I'm going to divide by root three. So I'm either multiplying or dividing by square root of three. When I'm looking for a bigger number, going from the short leg to the, to the long leg, I'll multiply by square root of three. If I'm going the other way around, I'll divide by root three. I'm never gonna go between these two. I don't care what that relationship is. I'm always gonna start from the short leg. So if I know the hypotenuse, I'll go back to the short leg, then I'll go forward to the long leg. Okay? If I know the long leg, I'll go back to the short leg, then I'll go forward to the hypotenuse. I'm never gonna worry about this connection, okay? It's always go through the short leg. It's like your, your easiest path. 
Okay, so we have the short leg is two root three. Okay, so to get from the short leg to the hypotenuse, we're gonna double. So I'm gonna take two root three and just multiply it by two, which will become four square root of three. And then the long leg, I'm gonna take two root three and multiply by root three. Now, remember that square root of three times square root of three is square root of nine, and the two just carries along. So it's two times three, which is six. So the side lengths would be two root three for the short leg, six for the long leg, four root three for the hypotenuse. All right, so same thing, short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. Okay, so short leg we don't know, long leg we don't know. We know the hypotenuse. So short leg is one across from the 30 degree angle. The two is the hypotenuse, and then the square root of three is the long leg. Okay, so we know the hypotenuse is 12. So hypotenuse to short leg, I'm gonna divide by two. Going backwards, I'm gonna divide by two. So 12 divided by two would give me six. And then to go from the short leg to the long leg, I'm gonna multiply by root three. Yeah, six root three. That was an easy one. Six, six root three, and 12. Okay, for the next one, short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. So again, what do we know? And let's also put labels on the sides so we can keep track of what's going on. So this is one, this is your square root of three, and your hypotenuse is the two. Well, this is also kind of a nice pattern because the long leg there is in the root three pattern, so it's five root three. And I know that if I'm trying to find the short leg, I'm gonna take that number and I'm going to divide by root three. So what happens? It's equal five. Okay, so we went from five root three divided by root three to get the short leg, and then we're gonna go forward to get the hypotenuse, and that's just double the short leg, so Five times two, 10. Again, sometimes the numbers are easier to see than other times. That's an easy one, five, five, root three, and 10. Okay, you might not need to think that much about that one. That first one for sure was a little confusing. But it gets easier as you practice. Okay, here's our one, here's our two, here's our square root of three. Short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. Okay, so what do we know? Well, let's see. We have y is our short leg. Um, our long leg is root six, and that's what we know. So we know that this is root six. Okay, so to go from the long leg to the short leg, we're gonna divide by square root of three. Now, rather than rationalizing on this one, because these numbers are divisible, we can literally just say, that becomes square root of two, done, okay? You could multiply, here's, here's what I wouldn't do, this wastes time, but this is what I'm sure some of you might have done. So if you do rationalize, I'm gonna multiply by root three over root three, I'm gonna get six root three over three, and then I'm gonna divide that out and get two root three. Oops, something happened. Oh, square root of 18. <laughs> Let me try that again. I got caught up in how it was gonna be too long. Okay, so uh, square root of six over square root of three. If you rationalize by multiplying by root three over root three, you'd have square root of 18 over three. Then you have to break down square root of 18, which is 18 is six and three and three and two. So it'd be three root two over three, and then that divides out and you get your root two. So what's easier? This, which I made a mistake the first time I did it, or just dividing a, a root six by root three. Well, I know the answer to that. I'm sure you do too. Okay, so we've got um, our short leg, our long leg hypotenuse is the short leg times two. So if our short leg is root two, we're just gonna multiply that by two, not root two, two. So the hypotenuse is two root two. Okay, and then lastly, we're looking for short leg, 
long leg, and hypotenuse. Okay, and we're given the hypotenuse on this one, so that's 8 root 3 over 3. Okay, so if we have the hypotenuse to go to the short leg, that's our two side. To go to the short leg, we're going to divide by 2. So if you do dividing that by 2 is the same as taking half of it, which is simpler. So we're going to take 8 root 3 over 3 and just take half of it. So times 1 half, which becomes 8 root 3 over 6. And then if we simplify those numbers on the outside, 4 root 3 over 3. Okay, that's just half of 8 root 3. And then to get to our long leg, we're going to multiply 4 root 3 over 3 by square root of 3. Now it's not root 3 over root 3 because we're not rationalizing. It's root 3 over 1 because we're multiplying the short leg by root 3 to get to the long leg. Okay, so that's 4 times 3 over 3. 3 cancels out, it's just 4. So those numbers look nice, right? It's 4, 4 root 3 over 3, and 8 root 3 over 3. That sounds right. Okay, that's the end of lesson 8-2 on special right triangles.